So am I the only person before I leave my house? I always say wallet, phone, headphones before I walk out just to make sure I actually walk out with all my stuff, okay? Now in this video, we're gonna be focusing on one thing and that is basically my wallet, AKA my fanny pack, which AKA inside of it contains my actual wallet. But whenever I think about a wallet and what's inside my wallet, like the cash, the credit cards, the debit cards, by the way, I want you guys to take a wild guess. Let me know in the comments down below. How many credit cards do you think think I carry around. Comment down below right now and then comment down below exactly how many debit cards do you actually think I carry around and how much cash, okay? So those three things, comment down below and let me know. Now, whenever I think about this video and about wallets, I always remember my Louis Vuitton story. Now, for those that don't know guys, okay, when I was in high school, there was this kid, had to be the coolest kid in school. The guys admired him, the girls wanted him and it was such a cool, like, that was Awesome, okay? His name was and my name is Tommy. So you well, maybe blur out his name. I should not say his name. But overall, I remember one day he comes to me and he's like, Tommy, can I get a dollar? And I'm like, what do you want a dollar for? You literally have like $300 jeans on, a jacket that cost $20. It was true religion. This guy was so cool. And he says, Tommy, I don't have any money. And I couldn't believe it, okay? So he opens up his wallet, which by the way was a Louis Vuitton wallet. And he shows me wide open, I don't have any money, man. Can you just give me a dollar? And I'm like, what is going on here? And that's the day I learned that you really can't judge a book by its cover. That's pretty powerful. So ever since then, I started to realize that I don't need to look the coolest. I don't need to have the cool things, expensive things, because in reality, they don't tell you or me or anybody out there exactly what I really have in my wallet. And in my wallet, it's got some cards, but overall wealth is so important. So when I say in my videos, I'm the most boring guy on YouTube, it's because I really am. Everything I do is long-term, that's why I call it a long-term team. Everything is simple, everything can be copied, but everything works in the long term, okay? And that's what I love about this system. So in this video, you're gonna learn exactly why I keep my wallet the way I keep it, how simple it is, my system, and that's basically much it. And by the end of the video, you'll be like, oh, that's pretty simple. I can't believe it works, but guess what? It actually does work. Now, as always guys, like this video on top of that, also subscribe and hit the bell to get notified because I have more videos on passive income, investing, and business, and a bunch of stuff that actually makes you money and puts more money into your wallet. By the way, don't be like that guy and buy a a Louis Vuitton wallet and not have any money in it, okay? That's that's just stupid, all right? So now, the very first thing that I actually carry in my wallet, it's going to be cash, okay? And overall, even right here in my fanny pack also, I also usually carry some extra cash. So overall, I'm walking around with like literally between $40 to like $200, sometimes, sometimes rarely, maybe a little bit more money. But overall, I do have here, as you can see, mixed currency. I have, for example, dollars, and I also have, for example, Dominican pesos and so on. And you might be asking me, Tommy, why do you have all this money? Why do you carry so much cash? In reality, Warren Buffett carries around like $400 in cash, but he's like a billionaire and I'm not. But overall, I will say this, here in this country, because right now, I am in Dominican Republic, I carry around a little bit more cash because everything here usually moves with cash. Like you can go to places where they will not accept cash and I never like that. So that's why I carry around 40 to $200 sometimes. Most of the times like less than $100 or so on, but sometimes I do carry around some dollar bills, okay? But if I'm in the US, I usually carry around like maybe like $20 max. And that's just for a cab ride in case my phone dies, I lose my wallet. I don't know what's gonna happen. Like it's kind of ridiculous. You think about it, if I lose my wallet, then the money's also gone. So how do I order a cab? If I lose my phone, then what's the cash for really, right? It's just for emergency, I guess, okay? You always wanna have some cash on hand. Now overall, there are a few reasons why I also carry cash. First of all, whenever I spend cash, I always feel the pain. If I go to a restaurant or if I'm thinking about buying something that's kind of expensive and I have to literally take out that cash and count it and say, wow, I'm actually about to spend $100, $200 in this item, I really do think about it a lot more if I was just swiping a credit card and said, well, I'm just gonna pay this off at the end of the month so it really doesn't matter that much. On top of that, having cash, it limits my access to capital. Meaning, here I have some money, I don't, I don't really know, maybe like, 
maybe like almost like two hundred dollars here. I, I I have some money here, right? But this is like this is my credit limit. This is all I have available to myself. So by having this much money in cash, it does limit my access to capital. But if I use, for example, a credit card, I might have I got I got a, I got approved for a credit card I didn't apply for because now guess what? Credit card companies are literally approving you or pre-approving you. Not like pre-approved when they say apply, we'll see what happens. No, they literally say you're accepted. Just click the button and you have it. Okay, that's all you have to do for like $19,000, like that's access to capital I absolutely do not need. And it gives me a lot of ease to just go ahead and say, hey, swipe that thing and just get me all that credit, baby, okay? So I don't have that anymore. On top of that, Cash is also accepted everywhere. You might say, Tommy, no, but debit cards are accepted everywhere also, and credit cards too. The answer is not really. It depends. It really does depend where you go. If I go in the US, everywhere, they accept debit cards, whatever. But here in other countries and so on, they accept cash everywhere. Some places I go to, they don't accept Discovery. They don't accept MasterCard. Visa is usually the best one, okay? If you have Visa, it's probably gonna be accepted everywhere. But if you have one of those fancy cards, the one with the American Express stuff, sometimes they don't accept it either because of those extra fees that actually charge those people. But overall, Visa is a short bet, but cash is always like king. It always will be, and, 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 it, and it has been forever. Now, here are some tips if you wanna kinda copy this entire method of carrying some cash in your wallet. Just make sure you don't carry more cash than you're actually able to afford to and what I mean is very simple, okay? The other day, I was carrying a little bit over a thousand dollars in my wallet because someone paid me back some money that actually owed me, and I did not feel comfortable. You might say, Tommy, but a thousand dollars really like that's not like that much money to me. Carrying a thousand dollars and losing that, I would definitely feel that pain, okay? And that's the whole thing. So if I lost forty dollars, sixty dollars, two hundred dollars, I'll be a little upset, but I really wouldn't be like, wow, my goodness, okay, I just lost a thousand, that's, that's different, okay, so usually just carry enough cash to the point where if you lost it, you really wouldn't have to be that worried about it. Now, talking about losing money reminds me of the time where I spent weeks saving up to buy a new video game for my PlayStation 2 when I was a kid, and I had like $60 saved up, and I was walking around with it, and all of a sudden, I lost the money. And that basically crushed me. It broke my heart into pieces, smithereens. Now, thankfully, my uncle bought me the game, and that's pretty awesome of him. But overall, the idea is don't carry more cash than you can afford to lose. That is a stupid idea. It's like people that buy, for example, things they can't afford to lose. If you're walking around with a $300 pair of glasses or like Ray-Bans, and you cannot afford to lose them, it probably shows you cannot afford them. So usually, you want to not buy those things, okay? That's a little rule I bought. I, I got from who? I think it was... Ramit Sethi is a pretty good rule and I use it all the time. So if I have something, um, I can afford to lose it. If I have a new phone, for example, like um, the iPhone 14, I can afford to lose this phone because I also have insurance on it. So even if I it got stolen or I got lost, I can just get another one for like for like $200, okay? That, that's, that's the thing, okay? So just make sure whatever you walk around with, you're not afraid to lose it, okay? Big rule. Now, for the second part here, guys, inside of my wallet, which by the way is a slim wallet, I just emptied it out for you guys. Well, inside here, I carry about six debit cards. That is right, six debit cards. If you guessed anywhere around there, you're, you, you, you probably didn't, okay? Nobody is, nobody's that weird, okay? Now, overall, here's why. Back in the day, I used to have, for example, like six different accounts, one for emergencies, one for investments, debts, expenses, fun, and also charity. So I had six different accounts. Now you might say, Tommy, don't you still use that budget? The answer is yes, I still use it. But these days I just have one debit card that has all those accounts inside of it separated. And that is SoFi Money and is literally one of my favorite debit cards. By the way, this video is not sponsored by them. I just really like the, the company, okay, overall. But the idea is I used to have all these companies, so I had different debit cards for different things. And you might say, Tommy, doesn't that get complicated? The answer is not really, okay, because I'm not using all of them at the same time all the time, okay? So overall, that's why. Some of these debit cards I use, some I actually don't, but my main ones overall are gonna be, for example, my SoFi debit card that I use all the time, and also, for example, my normal Puerto Rican Banco Popular debit card, okay? This is my debit card that I use where all of my expenses are basically at. For example, for groceries, for utilities, for all those things that I need to basically spend money on, like expenses overall, that's where it is. MasterCard is where I have all of my accounts, but let's say, for example, I need some cash right away, I can just get it from there. And the reason I carry around like debit cards and so on is because one, 
it's a lot safer than carrying around a bunch of cash. Two, if it gets stolen, I can just basically claim it. And three, it's just a lot more convenient than, than carrying a bunch of cash. I mean, honestly, right? You don't want to carry around all your money and just, you know, in your in your in your bag. Or just leave it at home. Because if it gets burnt down, then you're pretty much out of luck. So that's why I carry around so many debit cards. Now, overall, I gotta say. Out of all of my accounts, again, my SoFi debit card is probably my favorite one and it's the one that I use the most. And by the way, the cool thing about this one is basically, because I signed up for it when it first came out, I can be anywhere in the world on this planet, literally, and use an ATM and they will reverse the fee and give me the money back. So I've never paid an ATM fee because I do use this debit card right here. But they make a bunch of money from me because I have money in that account and they also make money by lending my money so everybody wins, okay? So don't be that mad at me so far love so far now number three guys time for the credit card section right you probably guess somewhere around a lot of credit cards right so overall in total how many credit cards does Tommy Bryson actually have the answer is I really only have um, one not 10 not 20 not 40 not 80 I just carry around one credit card overall and that is my discover credit card that I basically got when I was a student in college because it was the only one that was going to approve me and it was pretty cool okay but overall the only reason I carry around a debit card is because sometimes I need access to capital right away so let's say for example when I lost my SoFi debit card and I didn't have any money because that's where my money's at most of the time um, most of the time I have money in other places too but most of the time it's there so when I lost it I had to for example claim it have them send it to me in that meantime I I had to buy things like materials for my house and so on. So I went ahead and I used that credit card to actually fund those things and pay them right away. Um, on top of that, if I do, if I am, for example, in a foreign country, for example, usually foreign transaction fees are waived depending on the credit card and the conversion rates are actually a lot better. On top of that, um, it's actually most of the time a little bit easier to recover your money if it's actually stolen. But that's the only reason I have one credit card, okay, that I carry around. But most of the times, if I'm being honest with you guys, I don't like credit cards because usually you are insensitive to spending extra money. And I have noticed that on myself too whenever I do use it even while I'm here. So one rule I have is um, I pay it off in full every so month. And that is a terrible rule because it doesn't guarantee you're not overspending. So my new rule is I was waiting until I have some cash here in this country. Now I do have some cash in this country. So now I can set, for example, a fixed budget and I can just have that money in my Dominican bank account and basically just have a debit card for my cash here. And I don't have to use that credit card again, okay? So I'll carry around, but I'm not using it, okay? I'm just gonna go to the debit card because I didn't have any cash, so I had to use that as a convenience factor. But overall, just have one credit card that I basically use, and that is it, the Discover credit card. I have like two more credit cards that I use, but they have like, I don't have the cards because I cut them and I just have one bill on them to just maintain my credit score and to make sure that it doesn't go down, okay? That's that's the one bill method, if you don't know. Now, let's talk about my Louis Vuitton wallet. Just kidding, guys, okay? This right here, in all honesty, because I gotta be real, guys, okay? It's actually a fake Ridge wallet, or at least I think so. Ridge, do not try to sue me, okay? I love the company Ridge. Um, they make great wallets. I've never owned one, per se, but they cost like $75 and $150. They're expensive, okay? So I, I always wanted one, but I wasn't gonna spend $150 on a wallet. So I went on Amazon and I actually found this one. I don't know which one this actually is, but if I find it, I'll put a link down below and you can go ahead and buy it. And when you buy it, it's an affiliate link, so I also get paid money, but you also get the same thing for the same price. So everybody wins, okay? But this cost me, I think I think it was about like 15 12 dollars maybe 20 bucks max and what i love about it so much is basically it has for example a little cash pouch thing so boom i can basically stick on this is not a good commercial for this wallet but boom i can just put the cash inside there got my cash in and as far as i credit it can hold up to like 20 cars i think it is so i don't really have a problem with all my cars on top of that it is rfid resistant basically saying like 
it blocks out the technology that people can just basically come right and scan your credit card or whatever. So it blocks that out. But there is this new credit card. Well, there is this new debt. What is this thing called? There is this new wallet that I actually want, okay? And it costs about $25. It's kind of expensive, guys, okay? But this one is so cool because basically it's exactly like this one. But then it also has, for example, right here, like a thing where you can actually put, for example, like an Apple AirTag. So if you lose the wallet, you can always find it and track it so you can't get it stolen but they'll just take it out and throw it away so i don't know how it works like if i'm like a robber like what would i do i'll probably just paint it over so the thing is a part of the wallet but yeah it, it's uh, would i actually chase down a robber probably no right just give the, that information to the police okay but yeah that that's i really want that one so i'll probably buy it so look up for example um air tag wallets and you'll probably see it too on Amazon. And that's what I'm looking forward to, guys, okay? But yeah, I told you guys, okay? My whole thing is pretty simple. I'm a pretty boring guy. I don't carry a bunch of wallets. I don't carry for and my fanny pack. Oh, the fanny pack. This thing right here, shout out to Joe Rogan because he put me onto this, okay? But this thing right here has to be the most awesome thing. And by the way, I bought this on, in Walmart, like for $12, $15, best investment I ever made, okay? So here, I carry around, like, for example, like spare change, like, you know, like quarters and so on. I'm like a grandma. I carry around my AirPods in here because I, I hate carrying around AirPods. Boom, they're in there. And I carry around usually like like two pens. Um, don't ask me why. I also carry around like some, like some stuff for the lip stuff. And I also carry around some glue. Um, why? I don't know. I don't know per se why I carry around glue, but that's 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 the random stuff and receipts. That's the random stuff that I, I'm like a grandma. That's the random stuff I carry around in my wallet. That's my wallet for 2022. It'll probably be my wallet for 2023, except that I'm probably gonna change this thing right here. Okay. So overall, guys, that is it. Got some cash, some debit cards, and some credit cards. Well, credit card, not plural, singular. There you go, I'm a grammatical genius. But guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment down below exactly what wallet do you have. And by the way, um, last piece of advice here, the reason I switch over from like the standard wallets to one of these wallets is because I found myself stuffing a lot of papers and receipts and just a bunch of stuff and my wallet got really bulky and bulgy, didn't like it. And if you ever use your wallet and you put it in the back of your butt, the answer is terrible thing because it kind of messes up your, your vertebrae. Is that your vertebrae or is this your, your spine? I don't, I, I'm not a scientific major, okay? But I'm good at money, not anything else, okay? But your spine, it messes up your spine and all that stuff, so you wanna avoid that. And that's why I carry around this right here. But yeah, so Ridge Wallet, cool stuff. I don't have $250 for a wallet. You see what I'm saying, guys? They have some fancy stuff. They're like the Louis Vuitton of those wallets, okay? But I'm the Amazon guy of all the wallets. Okay, guys, that's it. Not taking up any more of your time, guys. Okay, as always, guys, like, subscribe, hit the bell, get notified. Up here is another video. Over here is my Facebook and subscribe. And as always, long-term team, officially out.